Yo, 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 it's the Daredevil coming at you live with another video. Welcome back to Mega Raw Mondays. We are in some women's action of Dana Brooke versus Alicia Fox. Oh, wait a minute. Here comes the crapster. I said crap stir, okay? She's stirring up trouble. Ooh. Seriously, guys gotta stop thinking that she needs somebody at her side. Look at her, she's standing on her own. What just happened? <sighs> well, that was pretty quick. I'm tired. Um, mm. I've been working all day. And, you know, the recordings and everything. <laughs> it takes a lot of energy out of me. <sighs> Fingers crossed to get this done, you know. Say that, Michael Cole, like two minutes ago. I swear. Wait, wait, wait. So the one after payback is Backlash? When the hell did they bring Backlash back? Ooh. What? When was this match made? What the hell are you talking about, Samoa Joe? History isn't defined by victors. History is defined by historical moments being made. Let me give you a little history lesson, boys. History lesson numero uno. The American Revolution. Why did that make history? Not only because America whooped Britain's ass, no offense, with the help of the French, no offense, we earned our independence, point blank. But it's not because we won that war. It's because 
we show dominance. I mean, Britain's no pushover. Right, Britain? No pushover at all. Their, their soldiers? Good God. Even to this day, I think their soldiers are, like, the toughest in the world. And then later, in another war, we Americans beat Britain on our own. On our own. No help from the French. No help from, really, anybody. And we earned England's respect for that. That's just it, okay? That's a big time history lesson. History lesson number two. The American Civil War. How did that go? The just and right answer came to be. The Union won against the Confederacy, thus abolishing slavery. It was a historic moment, not, I mean, I guess partially to the Union winning the war, but not just to that. It freed slaves. You know, it, it started turning something. The time of the civil rights movements. I mean, hell, that wasn't even a war. That wasn't even actual war. That was just, well, African Americans. I'm not going to say the other word. I got respect, okay? African Americans, basically, during that time period, earned their rights. Showed the wheat, that showed Caucasians, you know, like, dude, we're just as much as good as you. Point blank. But uh, there's no winners in that part. Why? Because there was no battles. It was just marches. Peaceful marches. Peaceful protests. That's all that was. But it made such an impact that because of that, African Americans earned their spot. And yeah, they earned their spot. Don't say otherwise. So Samoa Joe, you're wrong. Point blank. And Anderson, Gallows, call them nerds all you want. You act that cocky, you're going to get your asses whooped. And I'm hoping Enzo and Cass send those big, bald, nerdy heads of yours down to the depths of the devil's front door. Because that's where you belong. You boys think you're so tough? The way I see it? Yeah, I'll admit, the club was pretty tough. I'll admit, Samoa Joe ain't no pushover. But the way I see it, Guys, Enzo and Cass, they ain't no pushovers either. And Seth Rollins? The dude beat a legendary guy known as the King of Kings, the Cerebral Assassin, the game Triple H, with a busted knee. That's a historic moment. I don't know, it just seems like to me that people are just, you know, messed up. I'm actually going to cut it here. I'll be right back with the action. I do not own any of the content you hear in the background, even though most of it was commercials. That is all WWE. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in the next round. Adios, mi amigos.